The triangle is equilateral. What's the area of the circle? Since the triangle is equilateral, this inscribed angle subtending the chord has a measure of 60 degrees. We can draw these two radii to form a central angle which also subtends the chord. Although the relationship between these two angles isn't immediately clear, it's actually easy to find. The central angle theorem states that the measure of a central angle is twice the measure of an inscribed angle that intercepts the same arc on a circle. Since the inscribed angle in our problem is 60 degrees, that means that the central angle is 120 degrees. And since it's formed by two radii with the same length r, those radii with the chord create an isosceles triangle. We can split this triangle along the chord's perpendicular bisector to form two triangles. Each contains a 60 degree and a 90 degree angle, which means the remaining angle is 30 degrees in both triangles. The sides of a 30, 60, 90 triangle are always in the ratio of x, x square root 3, and 2x. For the triangles in our problem, the length of the longest side is r, which means the shortest side has a length of r over 2, and the remaining side has a length of r times the square root of 3 over 2. The most important ones for our problem are the ones with length r square root 3 over 2. Each of these sides forms half the chord whose total length is 9. When we write this as an equation and solve it, we find that r is equal to 9 over the square root of 3. Since we're looking for the area of the circle, we'll start by squaring r to find that r squared is 27, which means that the area of the circle is 27 pi.